For a week, from the 11th to the 18th of February, badminton players from the Oceania region converged in Melbourne, Australia to compete in the Victor Oceania Championships 2019. This is the highest entry we've ever had into an Oceania Championships. Oceania has 15 member countries and we have nine of our members here represented this time, which is a high percentage. Some of these teams are playing an international tournament for the first time and we've been very actively promoting uh, through our player development program this tournament uh, for these players to come and experience international badminton, to see the other teams, to work with our, our staff and the coaches, so it becomes a whole educational um, exercise as well. And as Badminton Unlimited found out, each team arrived with different agendas, varying goals and their own unique stories to tell. We had a total of 22 players. It's the biggest ever for us, so we were very excited about it. In the individual, we had uh, one uh, women's double pair. In the junior, who reached the qu quarterfinal, so it, we're really happy about that. That was their first event. So, and we had Remy Rossi, who came second uh, for the third time. It's a good result, but hopefully he can do better next year. I think the players really learn to uh, focus like uh, in training. We had two training sessions and when they see the good players from New Zealand and Australia training, they, they, it's good for them to see the intensity they are putting on training and also how they approach the matches. They just don't walk on course five minutes before, so they just prepare and stretch and everything. So it's good for, for the players to see that. Oscar Guo of New Zealand successfully captured the Oceania men's singles title. And for this 18-year-old prodigy, this championship is just a stepping stone to even bigger goals. The Oceania Championships is quite a big deal since it's like the biggest tournament in our continent. So um, it's a good preparation towards the World Junior Championships and the Youth Olympics because um, we get to practice in like a high pressure situation. I still have to go to school and this year um, I have to go to university so I have to balance between that and badminton. Um, so obviously compared to China and like all the top countries we train like much less than them so I feel like when we do train it has to be real high quality and make sure that um, we use the time we have efficiently. My goal would be the 2022 Commonwealth Games and the 2024 Olympics in Paris. That would be my target tournaments. The good thing is I should be able to finish university around 2023, 2024. So hopefully um, I'll be able to go full time after that. 29 year old Andra Whiteside first represented Fiji at the age of 14 and she continues to relish the learning opportunities presented at the Oceania Championships, not just for herself but also for her team. What I love about the Oceania Championships is that um, you, have, you have greater competition and you get to play people um, in different styles. We don't get this type of competition back at home and, and to play people who are, who are better, who are one level above you, that is a great learning experience and it enables you to grow as, as an athlete and as a person as well. A constant fixture on HSBC BWF World Tour, Satyana Mapasa and Gronya Somerville successfully defended their women's doubles crown. However, for the 23-year-old Mapasa, to be competing again was in itself an achievement. Our final, I had stress fracture in Commonwealth Games, and then after that, I had a uh, big surgery. So I out for eight months, and then start playing again last December. It's very hard for me because um, I, I also thinking. I won't be back to play again, but my legs um, start getting better and then I learn a lot from the injury, like how to look after my body and then um, to stay healthy, to appreciate every moment like the training tournament because it's very hard um, when you're out from, for injury. So yeah, I was very happy to come back again and play and then enjoy the sport again. Johanna Ku's dedication to promoting badminton in New Caledonia was also truly evident. The 40-year-old plays for the senior team and is just as committed in sharing her experiences by coaching her juniors. I'm very uh, involved of my junior 
because I want to teach them what uh, badminton is for me. Uh, so it's a great passion for me. I'm very happy for the performance because it's the first time uh, they do this uh, tournament. So they have uh, stress, but uh, when I saw them, they, they not give up. So it's very good, yes. With Badminton Oceania's unceasing effort to promote the racket sport, it shouldn't be long before we see more players from that region making their mark on the world stage.